going to give you a tour of my bookshelves that we use for our school. I just got them organized, so I'm excited about this. Um, although, as you can see, I just had these organized last week, and the kids already messed them up, so that's just life. Things are not going to stay organized when you have kids around, especially when you have babies who pull things off of shelves. It's just not going to happen. But I'll give you a tour of what we did. These are our games. These are the fun games, the, the family games that we all like to play. Um, we are a huge gaming family and we just love playing games. So these are all um, fun family games that even daddy likes to play with us. Um, some of our favorites. Maybe I'll do the, a video on that soon. Um, these are the educational games that are specific to school. My husband isn't super into playing educational games. And not always either, but they're good for the kids. Um, so educational games. And then over here are like the chemistry set, the big puzzle, kinetics and the circuit set, just other um, school sets, manipulative sets or whatever, that are bigger and need a place to go. And then up here, oh, and an interesting part of my organization is the fact that I have babies, uh, toddlers actually, who pull things off of shelves and so I had to organize with not only the usability and what should, like what my, I want my kids to have access to but also what are the babies less likely to pull off the shelves and therefore um, will be able to stay on the shelves. So down here we've got the leap pad which we actually have not tried yet. I'm super excited to show that to the kids. Um, over here we've got the reference books. So on this side is my clean copies of my textbooks that I can make copies out of. And then these are all of my different, like just different subject text uh, reference books that I have. So I've got several different math books um, and then several different language arts books and science reference books and then um, social studies Mommy. and Bible. And we have an interesting section because of Emily's diagnosis. We actually have a little section on leukemia books. Mommy, I'm making a video that maybe. Because I need to. Okay, you're just gonna have to wait a minute. I'll be there in a minute. Um, and then we have manipulatives, and of course these are erased. These are language arts manipulatives. So letters, stuff, mostly at this age as well. Mostly letters, um, magnetic letters. We got some like little flashcard things with the picture on one side and a word on the other. Uh, more letter manipulatives. More magnetic letters. Letter tapes. That's pretty cool. So this is lots of those letters. Uh, the language arts manipulatives. And then we've got math manipulatives. We've got like the money. We've got these thinking maps that are kind of fun. We've got, these are just for counting or doing the math with or whatever. All sorts of things. You can do with these are just I don't even know where I got these. I got them at the um, the slot thing. Yeah, just um, I've got those in, in multiple colors that we can we use those for Police Value Village and stuff. We got baggies in here for Police Value Village. This is just like a little um, counting card thing. We've got our clock. There's like the little shape things, um, flashcards, and those are actually language arts flashcards. We've got measuring spoons, all sorts of stuff. All the math, math manipulatives are now in this bin, so they're easier to find. And then um, this is what we call our making things box, so there's crayons, colored pencils, any of that kind of stuff that the kids are allowed to have whenever and play with whenever. This ball is one of the most genius things that I have found and um, for language arts, and it doesn't fit in the language arts manipulatives, but it's awesome. And once it pops, because I know it will eventually, I'm going to buy another beach ball and I'm just gonna write these questions on it. This ball is for when you're reading a story and you wanna talk about what happened in the story. You throw it to your child, wherever their hand falls, you read that question and they answer the question. So this has like, what is the setting? What happened in the story? How did it end? What was your favorite part? What is the title and who is the author? 
who are the main characters. So they're learning all the different parts of the story, and they're learning to answer questions about the story, which is something that my boys personally hate. They don't like discussing a story after we read it. They just want to be done and move on. But if you throw a ball to them, they're happy to discuss the story. It is amazing. I totally recommend that to like anybody who is whose child or children are struggling with discussing stories at all. And then over here we have our current workbooks um, because we just we tear out the pages. So these are like the actual, the lessons that we have. Um, I just put some of the lessons in the folder that we all we when we want to grab our school for the day we just have to grab a couple a couple folders. Ryan has two folders and a reading book. Hey, that's the book on the table. And Dylan has one folder and a reading book because he doesn't have language arts yet. And that's all they have. Like we can just grab those and easily do their schoolwork. I love having the pages out separate from the books, um, so that we can just easily grab our school each day. Um, I also have I got my dictionary folders, and I have a portfolio folder that I just made up. Um, we are not required to keep any type of grades or portfolio at this age. But um, I just thought it would be good for my own records and because I'd like to keep a few of his assignments that had um, that were more meaningful. Um, so when I find an assignment that just I really liked what he said or how he wrote it or whatever, I put it that in the portfolio. And then this is how I keep my records, which I'll go over at some point. But that's my record book. Um, and then up here we have extra binders, extra folders. These folders have extra pages from the workbooks that we didn't use. Um, parent controlled craft supplies. So this is like paint, um, stickers, although they are allowed to use stickers, but if they put them down, they get, like stick them all over the floor and stuff. Um, the hole punch, glue sticks. Oh, those are pencils that need sharpened. That kind of thing. Things that I don't necessarily want my kids to have at all times. And then also the Play-Doh. And then our stack of index cards for making flashcards. Let's see, I showed you the games. What else am I missing? Oh, and over here is our paper section. This is just lined paper for writing. This is um, graph paper, looks like notebooks, some of the dry erase um, boards. Oh, um, like pre or kindergarten writing tablets. That kind of thing. And then under here is a dry erase writing board. They haven't used a whole lot, but it's there. Um, and then blank paper for drawing and stuff. And then, of course, this is the section that they've already gotten messed up. But over here, we've got um, these are workbook type of things that they're allowed to do worksheets, specifically school related. Um, this is the, like the puzzles dot to dot books, um, activity books, anything like that. And then we've got coloring books over here. So it goes coloring books and then like puzzles books and stuff and then um, educational books. And they're allowed to use those at any time that they want. They're, they're allowed to just pick one out and color on it or do a puzzle or whatever. Um, and then these are, they were organized, but they're not right now. Um, I try to do on the bottom shelf the baby books, the, uh, the, like word books and stuff that the babies are allowed to have, and then Ryan's books and Dylan's books and some other books. Um, but of course the babies pull them all off the shelf and they're not organized anymore. So that is my schoolroom bookshelf. Let me back up and see if I can get a shot of the whole thing. Uh, I can't get the whole thing, but here. See? And that is how. We have all of our school supplies organized in our schoolroom.